the holding capacity and volatility over time of a significant amount of XRP, the total XRP ever minted or held in a safe deposit escrow vault and managed by the Ripple team, is one major factor that could see the price of this digital asset reach even higher levels before the end of 2021 and beyond. This ensures that dumping of XRP is highly unlikely, but it also depends on how disciplined Ripple executives are when it comes to dumping on the coin, as well as how well Ripple and its team have managed to maintain a fair price for the coin throughout its ups and downs. In addition, there is little chance of a massive sellout in this case. When Ripple's case with the SEC is finally resolved, we may see a significant increase in the price of this digital asset. If you haven't already considered hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications, kindly do so. Without any delays, let's get started. Let's take a quick look at XRP technical analysis, keeping in mind that prices may still fall below the lower trend lines. As a result, it's always a good idea to wait for additional confirmation and triggers. We could see a break from the daily timeframe below the $1.26 support margin as we approach the correctional zone for this coin. As Bitcoin approaches the $50,000 mark, XRP appears to be on the rise, trading at $1.26. We can only conclude at this point that the bears are gaining control of the market. If XRP breaks below its current support zone, it will become a resistance point, leading to a downward movement towards the next support. For the time being, we can expect to see a break below the current support area at $1.26, at which point we should see a slight bearish correction with a strong buy setup. In light of the recent bullish crypto hike, XRP still has more bullish potential than most of its peers, which begs the question, does the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple have that much of an impact on XRP, or has Ripple finally broken free? In the past, the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has caused problems for the San Francisco-based crypto payment processing company. However, the SEC has stated in a recent statement that the charge against the XRP coin is only for those locked in the Ripple Vault and that those deposited in the wallet addresses of XRP holders are not subject to this charge. If Ripple is found guilty of the SEC's charges, there will be a clear distinction that Ripple will be unable to trade the XRP coins in its escrow in the US market. They could instead be sold as securities, which would be a win-win situation for Ripple and XRP. It would quickly list the XRP coin on stock exchanges, which is something the Ripple team is eagerly anticipating once the lawsuit is resolved. On the other hand, the SEC's run-in with Ripple has put it on the radar of the country's top investigative agencies. Hence, whatever the outcome of the lawsuit settlement, both parties already seem to be at the end of the rope one way or another. Regardless, the market capitalization of XRP has increased significantly, surpassing that of Dogecoin's, which has seen the largest year-to-date increase. On the crypto charts, it is comfortably positioned at number 6. We can now see a channel forming on the horizon if we zoom into the charts to highlight the buying frame. We can't say whether or not that is true. As a result, we should expect prices to form a new swing around the $1.26 support level. Remember, this isn't a forecast, but rather an expectation of what we'd like to see in the interim so that the price movements predicted earlier are met. As we wait for price corrections, a swing that would take prices to greater horizons could occur right after the dip to newer lows. The suggested trend analysis would be to buy more into the dip, it would be beneficial as set your entry point at $1.12 for those just entering into the markets. However, just as its native asset has continued to turn resistance into support, Ripple has used its numerous partnerships to turn this PR nightmare into a win situation. As a sign of its bullish momentum, the price of XRP is most likely to consolidate above our support level of 90 cents. Only if the bulls can keep their trend of reducing above the $0.6 and $0.8 Fibonacci levels will XRP have a chance to break through the dollar resistance. Given that several sell orders have already been registered at this point, which means the bears are primarily out of the market, we have a good chance of succeeding. Given the current trend, XRP appears to be on a number of winning streaks right now. In the ongoing legal tussle over the past few months, we've been talking about grand slams with price actions and runaway victories. And, since the lawsuit's inception, we've seen even bigger impulses coming in before we enter the correctional phase, as overall bullishness may take a hit in the coming weeks, indicating massive buy pressure before prices retrace back to cast the next compass. We have no idea where or when the impending correction will end, 
as it could happen at either of these points. Do you believe Ripple and its XRP coin will emerge victorious in this battle? Or do you believe the SEC will make a comeback, perhaps a complete 180 degree turn, resulting in the financial regulators winning the lawsuit? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And that's it for now. For more updates like this, subscribe to Bashbox to be one of the first to be updated about the price forecast of any cryptocurrencies once any data becomes available so you won't miss any important information like this. However, if you find this video helpful and interesting, kindly consider liking and sharing our videos with your friends. Disclaimer The views and opinions expressed by the Bashbox channel, or anyone mentioned in this video, are for informational purposes only, and they do not constitute financial and investment advice. Investing in or trading crypto assets comes with a risk of financial loss. Always do your own research. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video.